of my weekly video blog. These plants here are two uh, that I picked up this weekend at the uh, Harrogate Spring Flower Show. There are two uh, flower shows basically held at the Great Yorkshire Showground in Harrogate, one in the spring, one in the autumn. Now I've never been to the autumn one before but we went to the spring one last time which mainly focuses on flowering plants. I think the autumn one is mainly a sort of vegetable one. So we went last year, uh, me, my parents and my nan, and we enjoyed it so much we thought we'd go again today. Uh, last year I didn't buy very much, in fact I don't think I bought anything there, but this year I did. <laughs> I bought these. These are a type of uh, Fritillia, uh, Fritillia imperialis in fact. Uh, there are many different types of Fritillia, and the one thing they usually have in common is these bells. But other than that, they don't have a lot in common, because uh, one of the most um, well-known one is the purple snake's head, which is a single bell um, on the top of a, a stalk which looks nothing like this at all. Um, but uh, there we are, they're in the same family. So these two are going to go on the Mark and Field uh, terrace shortly, probably tomorrow. Um, and they were actually surprisingly cheap as well, you know, it runs for a couple of days, I think Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We always go on the Sunday. Um, it is the busiest day, but it's also the day when they're reducing things because they're trying to clear them. Um, they were advertising these at a single one for four pounds. Um, which I thought was spectacular value for money, since you wouldn't get that sort of thing in a, uh, a garden centre or anything. These would be ten, fifteen pounds like this, anyway. Uh, they grow from tubers, so you can probably get the tubers ch cheaper and grow them yourself. Uh, but um, not like this, not actually fully grown. Uh, so I wanted one for four pounds, and uh, the offer was made uh, by the store owner that um, I could take the other one, this one, uh, for an extra pound, so that would have been two for five pounds. And the reason she was selling me off this one cheaper was because, of course, you can see the bells around the outside have mainly fallen off now, um, whereas this one is still sort of pretty much perfect. Um, and you know, for an extra pound, I thought, well, why not? Because uh, the worst it can do is die, and even if it does, the foliage is quite pretty, and, and it should come back again next year. Um, you know, I went with my family, and uh, we've, I've done quite a lot with my family this week, and as you know, there's a lot going on in my uh, family uh, life at the moment, and lots that I can't talk to you about openly, uh, and that's mainly for two reasons. First, um, confidentiality. I mean, it, you just don't. <laughs> not Particularly not when some people who watch this uh, blog might know them. Um, and uh, secondly, I don't think they are particularly um, uh, happy with me doing blogs. They never want to be in it. They never particularly want to, you know, they sort of stay out of the way, really. Um, which is fair enough. Uh, do you know, it made me appreciate um, my family. Now, uh, my family is very important to me anyway. Um, it, it just is. It always has been. You know, you can't choose your family, but... Um, I do love the members of my family uh, dearly, I really do. Um, I think there's two reasons why uh, family is so important to me and why I am, I don't know, why I, I, I love them all so much. The first reason uh, is because, and this might sound a bit preachy, um, and it's not meant to be that way, but uh, in comparison to other people, other friends, other people that I know about, um, I've had a very stable upbringing. You know, uh, I was, I have sisters, I'm not an only child, I don't have any brothers, but I've got sisters. I've got grandparents, um, and uh, I've, you know, I was born into a family where the, uh, the parents were married, um, so there was no child out of wedlock, you know, and... Uh, they've stayed married for decades and decades, and, you know, I actually do think that's important, um, not only for the, the child that's growing up, uh, but also because I think now it's not anywhere near so common um, as to have this sort of nuclear family. 
Um, and I do think, personally, that that's sad. Um, but then, of course, I do, because that's what I've been brought up with. But I think that it works very well. I do think it works very well. And, you know, comparative to some other people, um, and what I know about their family, and, and how, you know, difficult and how... Um, not abnormal, but this is a very traditional s sort of family, I suppose, in layout. Um, and you know, I think that's I think that's helped. I do think that's helped bring us all all, all together. The second thing, uh, which is really a matter of chance, I suppose, as much as anything else, is that we're all pretty much in the same um, geo geographical location, and we always have been as long as I've been alive. Um, you know, when they settled in Lincoln and, and when my parents started having children, my grandparents moved uh, from where they were to, to Lincoln as well. Um, and both of them were within the city, you know, both, all of them lay within the city sort of boundaries. So consequently, we met up quite a lot. We saw quite a lot of them. We got to know them very, very well. Um, and when we moved to Yorkshire, my grandparents basically followed. And as my sisters have, you know, grown up, they've got married or they've bought houses or, or whatever, they're still within, you know, the radius of the nearest city. Um, so we see each other an awful lot. Uh, we're in constant communication. Um, we meet up, we do things together. We have, you know, perhaps meals around at, uh, around at my family's house or, or we you know, go out for a meal occasionally, or the, the point is that we know each other very well because we are um, so close. And I think that a lot of families aren't. I think a lot of families are dispersed over the whole country. Perhaps, you know, the kids get to see the grandparents once in a blue moon. And I personally think that's a bit... I do think that's sad. I do think they miss out a little bit um, on on family. I wouldn't swap mine for the world. I know that... You have no control over your family uh, and some of the circumstances that, that create it. I, I know that. Um, and I'm not saying that you, know, you, can't have a perfectly, you can't have a perfectly good family uh, other ways. But I do think that those two factors have helped our specific family um, very much. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, I've just become very appreciative, I think, of that um, of late. So... You know, that's, uh, I don't want to be preachy to anybody else, but we, we all ought to, I think, appreciate our family a little bit more, um, regardless of, of the state it's in, and regardless of what, you know, issue, family issues we may have, because all families have issues, um, they all do, that's, that's just how it happens. Uh, but um, I don't think that should stop uh, the family being important, and... Uh, for people who are in it to um, appreciate it. And there's a couple of birthdays to mention uh, this week as well. We've got Adam Walker, Chad George, uh, Gareth Speed, uh, Chad Mendes, um, Luke Thurkle, Sheila Evans, Chris Coe, uh, John McDessie, and I think that's it for uh, for this week. Um, I have to say that, uh, you know, whilst I try and remember as many birthdays as I possibly can, I do have a little bit of help from Facebook. <laughs>